this box is supposed to include the LG Velvet. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? If you're looking for tech reviews that give you the information that you actually care about, then hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. LG reached out to me like a day or so ago and said, we've got the Velvet, do you wanna check it out? I did not realize that it isn't out in the States yet. There was a whole release on it like a month or so ago, but it is released in the States as of this morning of this video going up, recording it the day before. What's in the box? Let's find out. I I'm hearing 700 for this, I think, but I don't know what else they included in it. Lots of packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. Oh, the peanuts. I don't want any more peanuts. All right, so yeah, this is a whole deal. Or it's a whole media package. I'll be cleaning these things up for days. Now I got the old laptop right over here with a bunch of specs on the phone as we go through it. But let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? I have not watched any other videos either. Another problem that we'll get into with um, this in another video. Okay, the playbook for the LG Velvet. That's very interesting. So what do we got here? We got uh, a bunch of beautiful pictures. Look at that. Ooh, I've seen a few pictures of the phone. Still that notch. Maybe one of these days we'll get rid of that. Starting with the LG Velvet, uh, LG Mobile is moving away from the GMV series and adopting a more expressive names that better fit individual smartphones. Like I said, I haven't watched anything on this, so we're not gonna be getting the GNV series. I believe they have this on the website. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, design, advanced camera, immersive experience, 5G, increased productivity. Are other things in here? Let's take the phone out. Ooh, there's the dual screen underneath. So we do got some stuff, whoa, under here, and the phones are starting to update. Wow, okay, so the dual screen. We will go ahead and take a look at that in a moment. Look at that. They've got a pretty cool looking design and we've got yeah, this, th I did hear about this. This is, again, I'm assuming this has to do with the media package. This is a cleaning machine for your devices and whatnot. So we will take a look at that in a moment. We've got in here, they give you, I'm assuming this has to do with the cleaning device. Look at that, USB-C. Yay. And that's it. I don't get a whole lot of media packages. Usually I'm like the guy that just gets the item and looks at it. So this is pretty cool. Well done, LG. I appreciate being included as we are getting back into the game. I felt like this was gonna be like a nice leather design and it's actually plasticky, but I believe that is leather with the stitching going halfway. Now what I've liked LG has done over the past few years with this dual screen is you can take the phone out and rock just a phone, which makes it so, so extra useful for, oh, you know what I just realized? You can fit cards in there. Squirrel! I like the idea of being able to just rock the phone. That's what I'm trying to say in not so many words. This is what happens when you don't have things scripted. You just... Dual screen. This is supposed to be a new look. New look how? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Oh, do you see that? Do you see this? Do you see... Do you see my face looking at that? Do you see it? Now was this, was this is what everyone was showing because I didn't watch any videos. There is no fingerprints on the whole thing. They went just to the screen. <gasps> there it is. We've got the little adapter, which is, woo, magnetic. You see it? Wow, magnetic. Look at, oh, look at that. It's like standing up on its edge. Why is that magnetic? Magnetic Jones. Right, kind of right there. Boom! Locks in right there like a... Oh my God, who the hell cares? Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Thank you. No more fingerprints. Oh, good Lord. I mean, that's just awesome. 
I know it's just a kid. <laughs> okay, so what color do you think we got? Did we get black, white, red, silver? I guess, I don't know what other colors there will be. I'm assuming different manufacturers. Ba-bam! Ooh, silver, okay. Okay, I'll take so. Oh my. Wow, you take that off and it's like, do you see that? Look at that. Wow, the colors, man. It's like a double rainbow. Actually, it's just a single rainbow. But okay, you get the idea. This is not small. First off, it's way thinner than the V60, as you guys can see up above. This feels thinner, and yeah, it's a good, it's a, no, it's not thinner. It just feels thinner, probably because of the sides. False alarm, false alarm, it's not thinner, it's thinner on the sides. Sorry, don't roast me in the comments, LG guy, you know who you are, I don't even know if you're subbed. That's another, another video, I will talk about that as well. Just a little bit shorter than the V60, like a half a finger. But because of these really thin edges here, it feels thinner, but it's not. It's, it's On the back here, you see we got some cameras. One, two, three, and I think that's a light or a flash. So that is interesting. I really like the way that this feels. Very, very premium feeling, but thin, if that makes sense. Even though, again, and with the case, I like the case on it. The case looks nice. Got the little silver action going on there. I just realized you could put credit cards in there, driver's license and whatnot. Very nice minimalistic case. So let's see what else is in the box. My guess is there would be a wall wart, unlike some companies who may not be doing a wall wart. So there's the start guide. There's the promise to you as far as uh, satisfaction and being happy with the product. Product safety and warranty info. Oh look, a fast charger. Apple, look, they put a fast charger in their uh, $700 phone, I think it is. We, we still gotta talk about that. SIM card tray removal and removal tool, and I believe that's about it. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor and let's see how well this does. 29, 36, every time you feel it, kind of just do like a little boop boop. That's what she said. <laughs> so that worked, and as I was interrupted by a phone call, that's wonderful. You're just gonna need to tap away. Tap, tap, tap it away. Match your voice. What? That's a pretty cool background. You like your breadsticks. Do not remove the battery when your phone is unresponsive. Um, okay. I don't know if I can remove the, does this back come off? <laughs> I mean, like, what? There she is with a whole bunch of Lovely apps pre-installed, thank you AT&T for that. And you know, it's the LG skin. This display looks absolutely phenomenal. Google is completing setup. More crap on the phone that I'm going to delete because I don't want. But good experience so far and very snappy. Oh, American Dad. What apps are you putting on here, AT&T? Stop, get some help. Stop putting games and apps that we don't want on our phone. So let's go ahead and throw the phone in here, which again, I am so super happy that they went with this design. This could not be any better. Back here is a little rugged. I don't remember if, yeah, they started doing that with the other ones as well. This is much thinner on the silver version. And I believe this is, yeah, this is for the V60. But this reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Got the display here on the front, which is great. Finally, they just cut it down to what you needed it to be, which makes me super happy. And of course, going into the display itself, look at that. They add on the rounded window when you just had it on there in the one shot. That looks so cool. The fingerprint sensor works pretty darn well. So on the side here to control a little bit of the info on the dual screen, you have the option for swap screens, show main screen on the dual screen, show dual screen on main, which means basically you can put your main stuff over here and this will be your secondary, or you can turn it off. Now, of course, what you don't see on here is the ability to spread it out to both. And if you go to settings, 
you can go ahead and pick what you want. Now, this isn't any different from the V60. You can turn all of these things on. Now, I remember when I did my video on the V60, YouTube did not look so good. So, all right, so we went ahead and opened that up. And now you have the ability to go to wide view, which I really had never had a problem with Google working on this. I think it does a darn good job. So you do have the ability to use both screens. I'm a little afraid to use the YouTube app because it did not go really all that well last time. So for S's and giggles, I will go ahead and open up the YouTube app and we'll go to wide view, which again, I don't know if this is necessarily gonna work out all that well. As you can see, you know, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and play Larry's video of the V60, I'm sorry, the Velvet, and we'll go ahead and swap this out here. And no, I, I, I truly don't understand why YouTube would not help LG figure this out. Like, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and have this be the whole display. And then you put the comments and stuff down here so people can comment on the app. It's just a mess. Like, I can't, the comments are, whoa, I closed it out. Why can't they have it like that? You know what I mean? Like this is the whole screen and then down here or vice versa would be where you do the comments and everything on the app. But all in all, I don't see a whole big difference between the secondary display and the main display. It looks like it's doing the same thing as it did before, which I have no problem with because I absolutely love that. You can swap it around here and you can actually use it as a stand as well if you want to watch YouTube videos on this side or this side. But I like that. It's very tactile, I should say, or very stiff. So you can actually go different ways uh, to set that up. And as well as if you want to be on an angle to look at your screen while you're texting through email or, again, watching a YouTube video. If they did that, look at that. It, it's perfect. Guys, get on that. I really like the way that this is set up. I've always liked the way that they've set this up and I'm very happy with the dual screen portion. Let's talk a little bit about the body of the phone. So it looks good, it feels good. You've got your dual display here, which is separated. They finally got rid of that mirror. Taking a look around the device, you got your sleep wake button, speaker, microphone down there at the bottom, USB-C port, as well as 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I did read that the DAC has been removed from the system, and I don't know, maybe that's people that didn't use it a whole lot or don't really care. I know there are a lot of people that did like that with the LG devices, so that might be a little bit of a letdown. Your multifunction button here on the side, as well as your volume rockers, which these are all very nice. Top, another microphone, and of course, your SIM tray. Of course, on the back here with my lovely fingerprints as I keep adding more, they got the three lens system with the flash down the bottom. Max 48 megapixel, 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter, and then your 5 megapixel depth sensor. Now I do want to test all these out compared to the V60, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If there is a phone or one of those phones that you do want to see compared to this, camera wise, head to head, video, go ahead and leave a comment down below for your choice and we'll definitely try to bring it to you. Now before we go, I do want to take a quick peek at the little cleaner here and I do feel obligated to do that because Again, this is something that's very important to people, and it is something that you should definitely look at. And you know what? I don't know how much this is gonna be, or if we're gonna start seeing these in more places and whatnot, but cleaning your device is definitely very important. They have a whole little setup here. Now this is nice, because you do have the ability to hook this up, sanitize it, get it clean, which again, our devices are pretty damn dirty. And if you notice here, this will fit the device in it. Lots of room in there to put that in. Now, I don't have it hooked up yet, but just so you know, you got other devices that will go in there. Now, of course, not the whole dual screen thing in there. Of course, you know what? I don't know why you couldn't. That closes in there. Now, of course, you don't have your phone clean, but it looks like it's going to fit a lot of other devices in here so lots more coming up on this brand new phone very very cool gonna head it up against the v60 maybe against the iphone 11 pro max we'll see 
But if you want to see the V60 take on the 11 Pro Max in a camera test, click that video right here. If you want to see the V60 in the introduction when I first started talking about it, move up there and click that video. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss all the content on this. What's good? What's bad? How's it going to work? Stick around. You guys take it easy. Have a great day.